nearly 200 naked men in artworks from 1800 to the present day. One of France's most prestigious museums has filled itself with male nudes in a first for the country. Although female nudes have always been a crucial aspect of art, this exhibition at the Musée d'Orsay has already caused a little controversy. I think that this kind of exhibition would have been impossible five or ten years ago. Now, after seven years running the Musée d'Orsay in a city like Paris, one of the most permissive cities in the world, we're finally being allowed to run this exhibition. There's still a prudish streak around, but it's now being broken down because all the moral locks and bolts are falling away one after the other. Instead of a chronological approach, the exhibition groups male nudes thematically, showing how fashions have come and gone. From the neoclassicists who believed in the perfection of the human body, to the more decorous 19th century, and on to some more stylized modern interpretations. During the French Revolution, male nudes represented a return to the Republic and virtue, whereas that's not how it is today. Now the prevailing sense is of homosexual beauty. Modern artists like David Lachapelle or Pierre Egil have found shock value in male nudity, whether painted or sculpted, as in this hyper-realist piece from Ron Reck. But the exhibition also finds room for the great masters of modern painting, arguing that the male nude has always been central to serious art, whether society was ready to accept it or not.